My name is Dr. Benoit Benoit. I'm an orthopedic surgeon from Montreal, Canada. I work in the province of Quebec, which is a French speaking province. And my practice is, is a hip and knee replacement. So I'm happy to be here in Toulouse for the, the PCO meeting. I start by saying yes, I would recommend it to my colleagues. Um, I found that the first afternoon of presentation was very good. Uh, it was original because we talked about, uh, you know, the duality we um, surgeons uh, experience with our administrations in public hospitals. So as orthopedic surgeons, most of us want to work more, treat more patients, uh, take more time with our patients, have more time to follow them up. And we're pushed to do more and more administration stuff, you know, um, writing on the computers, writing in their charts all the time, it's more and more. So everybody agreed that we have to get rid of that at least a little bit. And uh, there was very interesting discussions about it. And I think that's the, a good way to start the conference. That's an interesting question. Uh, robotic surgery started many years ago, more than 10 years ago. Um, there's been a lot of money invested in that technology and now it's kind of rolling. More and more people are trying the machines, the robotics, the navigation. I think it's good tools, but in my opinion, uh, this, the classic technique of doing knee replacement surgery or hip replacement surgery will stay for a long period of time. And uh, I think it's gonna take decades for all surgeons using all the time these technologies, unless there's something new that comes on the market that will change everything. I, I had that case, uh, it was, I think, three weeks ago. Um, it was a private patient who came from Algeria for his care in Canada. So I took care of him because he couldn't find a surgeon to take care of his special pathology uh, in his home country. So the guy was 56. And it's interesting because his son uh, was an immigrant in Quebec and he, uh, he was in Quebec, uh, Canada for about four years. And he was, uh, the, his only goal was to have his father treated for his complex hip problem. So his father had what we call a congenital hip dislocation that was a high grade four on four. And that patient has severe arthritis and his gait was, I mean, it was terrible. Uh, he couldn't barely walk, but the guy was in shape. So he was able to use canes and, you know, move himself around. Um, and these surgeries are tough, they're complex. And um, I exposed him the challenges and the risks. And we, we did it. And now the person is very happy. It's only been three weeks and the guy is walking without a cane already. The pain has almost all gone. So everybody is very happy. But for me, the surgeon, um, it's a stressful case. Uh, we don't see that ca these cases anymore in France or in, in, uh, in our countries because the, um, that disease comes when the, 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 the patient or the baby uh, is born. So, um, and in Canada, for example, or here in France, all babies are examined at birth to detect these pr hip problems. And we treat them when they're babies. But in other countries, they're not you know, diagnosed and they can have these problems that are non-treated and, and they are very complex to treat at an older age. So, but in this case, it all turned out that uh, everybody's happy.